We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection figure review. This time we're looking at VC-182 Captain Rex. Um, now this one looks beautiful on the card, um, and despite it being slightly damaged, uh, Goodies Toys hooked me up with this one for review. Um, it does have a little bit of damage there, but uh, I think I'm actually going to keep this one carded and we'll just get a close look at the figure. I did review this same figure back in 2014, so I will drop a link in the com comments below and uh, in the dis channel description as well. Um, so if you want to go back and take a look at what's basically the same figure, um, Hasbro have slightly updated the blue colours to this one uh, ever so slightly. They were a little bit lighter on the original release. And uh, I recently did a video where I customized my 2014 version of this figure um, and intermingled it with some other parts of Clone Troopers and another Rex from the Clone Wars animated line to, to create what was basically a more definitive version of Rex. But uh, soon as this one does look quite nice on the card, I was a little bit hum -har about the artwork uh, at first when it was announced, but I've, uh, I've grown to like it quite a lot and it works quite well. So I am gonna keep this one carded, but uh, I'll get behind the camera and, and we'll take a close look at the figure anyway, um, just through the bubble and take a look at the accessories and stuff. So, and again, if you want a close up look at the figure, I did a review a long time ago, can't guarantee the qualities there, but I did it. <laughs> um, so again, thanks to Goodies Toys. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Ozzy, also want to give a shout out to Darth Ozzy uh, here on YouTube as well. Um, he's a fellow collector from my side of town, um, from my, my town. Um, and he will be reviewing a couple of other samples that uh, Goodies Toys has donated to his collection as well. So go subscribe to him. Uh, he does some cool videos with, he's got an absolutely enormous, incredible collection. He has some great videos with his young son, uh, Darth Ozzy's apprentice. And uh, yeah, definitely go and give them a sub. Um, and follow their adventures as they go through this YouTube uh, adventure as well as Star Wars collectors. So, you know, we're going to create the community, build it up. So, yeah, definitely do that. So let's jump in and have a look at this figure. All right, so here is Rex on the card. And uh, he does look cool in the bubble, despite the figure being a little bit of a letdown. But I really love that artwork. The sort of iconic image of Rex holding his blasters across together like that is fantastic. Get a nice close-up look of the figure in the in the pack there. So I definitely think the uh, paint apps are, are, are improved. Um, just with those three ARC troopers that came out last year, this one just doesn't quite hold up next to them. You know, this guy he has you can see sort of the range finders molded onto the helmet there. But the sort of the the paint apps on the helmet there with the J guys and the tally marks looks fantastic. Pauldron looks nice. That's a really nice shade of blue they've used. It looks quite good. The blue on the Karma. You know, slight little bit of paint coming up onto the pouch from the blue. You can sort of see the black paint bleeding onto the holsters as well. It's a little bit off. The the fur the original figure wasn't overly well painted either, but uh, you know, it's a nice blue. It's a much nicer blue. You can sort of see the differences there on the original Rex. Sort of the one on the right there is much paler. Whereas I have the clone, the correct 501st sort of clone color there um, matches up nicely. So if I ever get the chance to get this Rex on card again, I'll probably end up switching out these accessories on this arm here just so I can have the correct colors all throughout the figure because uh, yeah, slight difference in the blues. The tally marks look a little bit more splodgy on the one in the uh, in the packet here, as opposed to the one I'm holding in front. They're a little bit cleaner, but you can sort of see some of that black paint running onto the holster there as well. So yeah, the uh, the body torso wasn't movable, sort of under that armor piece like like this one is. And uh, this is my, my Captain Rex. 
and uh, you can see how I did this one. I did a video not too long ago. So scroll back and have a look, and you can sort of oh, I'll sort of go through and explain how I um how I got this custom to look, you know, pretty damn good in comparison to the other clones. He's got the uh, ball jointed hips, got all the good articulation, a better looking helmet, rangefinder that moves. But we're here to talk about this guy. Put these blasters in there, they're cool. Get a look from the side here as well. I don't think the helmet's a bad sculpt. It's probably just a little bit small. Um, it could probably just do a little bit bigger, just a little bit of an upsize plus the rangefinder to move. And uh, that would have given this figure a big help. Now I also believe that the original figure had the uh, weld marks down the torso whereas this one has forgotten to add them. I did draw them on myself but this wasn't the same body. Um, so you got the weld marks there on his helmet from when he sort of kit bashed his own helmet. As you can sort of see there the weld marks. You can just see them there on the torso underneath the uh, underneath behind the arms there they've missed out those paint details on this one so yeah it's just just small miss details which is the uh, sort of undoing of this figure but um, like I said as a whole on the card I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it I love the Clone Wars banner on the top I love that they do that I wish they'd do that with every other property um, including books, individual games, all that sort of stuff. I would love to see it instead of just using like the Star Wars logo. I would love to see them individualized. Uh, Hondo Anaka that recently came out, he just had a Star Wars card. It would have been cool to see like Galaxy's Edge or uh, Clone Wars or Rebels, whatever property they wanted to deal with there. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy to have this one on card. And again, thanks to Goodies Toys. Um, for the hookup here, I really do appreciate it. it means a lot um, to have the support for the channel here. Um, really do appreciate it. So uh, if you wanna, if you wanna go and support Goodies Toys as well, there's a small independent toy shop here in uh, here in South Australia, here in Australia, ships nationwide. Uh, goodiestoys.com.au there will be a link in the description so jump on over and see what he's got so there is Captain Rex and uh, yeah there are more Captain Rexes coming I have it on good authority that there are more Rexes coming they were a bit short packed um, initially there were some distribution issues last year from Hasbro um, not necessarily just Hasbro it's just the world was thrown into absolute chaos in 2020 so there are more Rexes coming and uh, yes yeah, stay stay true to goodiestoys.com.au because uh, more Rexes on the way and you can probably get one that's a little bit nicer nicer mint, mintiness than this one it's got that sort of little bit of scuff and a little bit of a ding at the top there a little bit of a scuff there nothing too major no big creases or anything on this one so I'll protect this one it's not like gonna leave the collection but uh yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I really do appreciate your support. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, consider joining as a member on my uh, homepage. So until my next video, may the force be with you always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.